What would artificial intelligence do once it becomes smarter than human beings? There are would, it see, would it see us human entities as pointless? There are two stages of threat, right? And I think the biggest challenge we have in the world today is we're focused on the existential threat that we saw in science fiction movies. The closer threat is much worse, right? This is an Oppenheimer moment. The one that controls AI has enormous power over, over everyone else, right? And basically, that means that everyone who doesn't control AI today is in an arms race trying to take control of it. This is why when I think of the prime minister's move, it's a great move, overdue almost when you think about it, but so difficult to achieve because you have to unify China, Russia, and the US right. to, make, to, to be able to, to, to regulate and I AI. mean, a well-intentioned person trying yeah. to regulate and control AI would give it morality, it would teach That's it. That's the whole point. But, but a nefarious controller of AI, presumably, could teach it to be immoral, the opposite. Which is happening as we speak. There's right. absolutely no doubt. If you tell the drug lords of the world and the criminals of the world that AI is a super powerful tool, they're finding the way, a way to hack your bank as we it's, speak. It's scary. It is very, very concerning. And, and I think the reality is, interestingly, the only way you can defend against a super intelligence is through another super intelligence, which is what creates that prisoner's dilemma, what I call the first inevit mm -hmm. inevitable and scary smart, mm -hmm. is, that, is that we have to continue the development because if... Uh, you know, it falls in the wrong hands. We want the right hands to have power to defend us, right? At the same time, that complexity of the situation is entirely about morality and ethics. Yes. And, and interestingly, the latest development of something like ChatGPT, for example, yeah. is using reinforcement learning, which is a very interesting technique because it basically allows a human to interface with ChatGPT and say, that was the wrong answer. Can you go back and think about what it is. What really? It so challenges, almost like you're teaching a child at school. A hundred percent. And, you, you know, in reinforcement learning, I mean, in a simplified way, we're basically telling the machine to revisit its algorithm so that the answer becomes a cat, not a bird, right? Also, we can tell it that answer is immoral. Can you re re revisit your algorithm yes. so that you become but again, more... Again, again, the problem I see is that you, if you're well-intentioned doing this process, yes. that's one thing. If you're teaching it deliberately to be immoral, yes. very quickly you could get out of control AI, which has very unpleasant tendencies. So, so, so my, taught, taught to it by human beings. Yeah, my 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 very clear statement is that I honestly am not concerned with the machines, even though the existential mm. threats are possible. You're concerned with what humans teach I'm them. I'm concerned with humans with AI yes. in their hands. I